Good morning, everybody. My name is Jeff O'Donnell, Jr. I'm the CEO of Waypoint Orthopedics, and I'm also a general partner with Runway Healthcare. Waypoint Orthopedics is Runway Healthcare's first portfolio company. Runway Healthcare is a venture studio that invests capital and management into our portfolio companies uh, with a fractional management team that takes these companies from seed and investments in inception stage, uh, in inception stage through in, uh, to the FDA approval, exiting prior to commercialization. So, Waypoint Orthopedics. In spine, there's an inherent risk that is often not talked about. Within the first 10 years of a spine surgeon's career, they meet their lifetime exposure to radiation. Spine surgeons are 12 times more exposed to radiation than any other subspecialty. There have been advances in robotics and navigation that look to solve and, and enhance the safety in the operating room, but there's a, still a large capital outlay required to bring these systems into the hospital, and the ASC model has not yet been determined. Recently, Becker's published a study that says that 10% of, of robotically assisted surgeries have a failure rate. 10% doesn't sound like a big deal, but when they fail, it's often catastrophic. This was a case that was posted to LinkedIn by one of the top KOLs in the US. And his thoughts on this is that it's not the arrow, so it's not necessarily the screws or the robot that are, that are causing these things, but it's the lack of tactile feedback and the lack of information that's happening during those cases. And so we, we must remain vigilant from a safety standpoint for both the patient and the surgeon. So enter Waypoint Orthopedics. Waypoint Orthopedics has designed a product called the Waypoint GPS Guided Pedicle System. It's a single use disposable smart gear shift that looks, acts, and feels exactly like a standard gear shift that surgeons are used to using today in the operating room. We're very proud of the fact that our cost of goods at scale is $100. This enables multiple revenue streams for the commercializing entity. We've also developed Waypoint uh, GPS to operate off an Android application, and it's agnostic to hardware. We've tried to build this platform to be uh, easily commercializable, either into existing hardware or the hardware that's in the operating room today. I'm gonna play a brief animation and show you how clinically Waypoint might work in the operating room, or does work in the operating room. So as I said before, Waypoint looks, feels, and acts like a standard bone all gear shift. Uh, that was really important from a design standpoint because we wanted to limit the amount of adoption that's required to use this product. We're simply enhancing the surgeon's senses by opening up their ability to see where they're going. It's a battery powered device that lasts up to eight hours, plenty of time to do uh, all the levels that you need. And as you see here in an exaggerated way, as the device starts to approach cortex, the feedback on the screen, the, the probe sees what it sees. So you see shades of pink and then ultimately white prior to breach happening. So we're preventing breach. The surgeon or the robot might change their direction, find the center of that pedicle, and the feedback will be reds, indicative of cancellous tissue. This is not a large space, so the center of the pedicle is, is often uh, easy to find. What we've seen clinically is that this tool enhances the surgeon confidence that they have either not breached, uh, but it also speeds up the case a little bit as they continue to go down. The adoption curve is about two pedicles. We did an animal study with the University of Pennsylvania's New Bolton Center, and these are screenshots from our tablet uh, showing you the difference in feedback and that it is definitive and intuitive for the surgeon. In cancellous tissue, you see healthy reds, active blood flow. As you start to approach cortical wall, those reds become pink and ultimately white. In that animal study, we did breach on purpose, and we captured that data, showing you that breach is also definitive and it's black. So these are numbers that you often don't get to present, but we're very proud of them. Uh, in our animal study with New Bolton, we had 100% accuracy against our predicate device uh, and 100% accuracy in the cannulation of those pedicles. To date, we've cannulated 49 pedicles in humans, and we maintain our 100% accuracy. We've had zero breaches. This is a very important number. Here's some data from our first in man case. As you can see in the center, 
As the surgeon was cannulating down the pedicle, we had that red feedback showing us that we were in the right spot. The left and right images are the same, but as you can see, eight screws were placed perfectly down the center. Our leadership team and our board and our surgeon advisory team is made up of industry veterans in not only the medical device space, but the spine space. We're proud to have Bill Rhoda, one of the co-founders of Globus Medical, leading our, our product development as a chief technology officer. Dr. Stephen Banco is our co-founder and a spine surgeon in Reading, Pennsylvania. Our board of directors is also made up of MedTech veterans, Jeff O'Donnell Sr., Steve Banco, Billy Odenthal, Bill Rhoda, who I mentioned before, and Andy Ayad, another co-founder of Globus Medical, who's presenting Happy Spine later today. Our Surgeon Advisory Board is diverse in its technique. So we made sure that early on in the product development process, we included surgeons that were doing open cases, MIS cases, had access to robotics, navigation, O-arm. It's an ever-changing landscape. We wanted to ensure that Waypoint could affect all of those techniques, and we were taking that into consideration. As you may know, Dr. Cappuccino is one of the titans of spine surgery and has recently had a lot of health issues that he directly correlates to standing next to a C-arm for the majority of his career. His passion for Waypoint and getting tools like this that save surgeons and the rest of the operating room staff is unmet. Waypoint is protected by comprehensive IP that's not limited to the spine. So you can imagine how this technology could enhance uh, orthopedic recon, trauma, and other subspecialties. We achieved FDA clearance on Waypoint uh, late last summer and have done a handful of cases to prove the performance in vivo. We are indicated for both open and MIS cases today. As I said before, when we brought our SAB in, we wanted to ensure that we were considering all the different techniques that occur for any one different case. We believe that in the open cases, the impact is immediate. We're now enabling surgeons to see past the open wound and see down the pedicle. In those C-arm assisted or MIS cases where the radiation exposure is tremendous, not just for the patient, but for the surgeon, the scrub techs, the operating room staff, and the reps that are there day in and day out, the capacity to reduce that amount of ionizing radiation in the room is tremendous. And then lastly, as navigation and robotics continues to get better and better, we believe that Waypoint could be used adjunctly in those cases to provide an additional layer of safety that's currently not there. Being able to have real-time feedback in a case, being able to stop those catastrophic breaches, enhancing surgical navigation and robotics. We've mocked up an image here of how that might look clinically. So we set out day one to ensure that we could drive the cost of goods on this disposable tool as low as we could. We're very proud of the fact that we've received, achieved about $100 at scale. This enables the acquiring company with multiple different revenue streams. These are not or situations. All of these can happen at the same time. So Waypoint is a standalone tool uh, with an ASP. Uh, Waypoint as enabling technology, this is what the market has told us where it will live and breathe. Uh, that, mar that model is proven today, tying instrumentation and enabling technology to implants, using it as a loss leader for $100. That would, one, being able to attack or defend 1% market share in just the lumbar and cervical markets is equivalent to about $28 million a year in revenue. And then, as we said before, adding Waypoint to a robotics and navigation platform has a tremendous amount of value for those, those companies that have pioneered that space. So Waypoint is a runway healthcare company, and we have achieved FDA approval. We are now at the stage where we're looking to exit Waypoint to an existing commercial entity and are starting a process uh, as we speak to do that. If you have questions about Waypoint, runway healthcare, please feel free to find me or any of our general partners who are here at the meeting this week. Thank you very much for your time.